Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chips, you're another RetroPie emulation station, Raspberry Pi video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get cheats onto your RetroPie emulation station. Everyone remembers the Game Shark and the Game Buster from back in the day. What if I told you it was really easy just to get those on your RetroPie emulation station so you can relive the days of the Game Shark of breaking the game to make it a lot of fun. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is to go to the RetroPie menu and go all the way down to RetroArch, which is the system that it uses for most of the emulators. Once this menu has been opened, we want to go down to the settings section and find user interface and press B on your Xbox controller and then where it says show advanced settings, turn that on, click views, and where it says show online update, click that on, then press A, A again, and it'll bring you back to this settings section, and then press A again, it'll bring you back to the main menu. Now you can see in the main menu, there is the online update. Press B on that to go, and just press update cheats. That is going to download every Game Shark or Game Buster in existence and extract it to your Raspberry Pi. Fantastic! Once that has been done, quit RetroArc. And now we're ready to launch the cheats within the game. So, first we're going to go to the PlayStation. And we're going to pick one of these games. We're going to pick Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now this only works in RetroArc emulators. So mostly the ones that have LR attached to them at the beginning. So it says at the beginning, launching using this. If it has LR, then you can do this. Now, once in the game, you're going to want to press the hot key button, which I've got assigned to the Xbox button and Y together. And it'll bring up the same menu again as you saw before. Now, in the quick menu, you're going to want to go down with your D-pad all the way to the bit where it says cheats and then press B on the Xbox controller. And then when it says load cheat file replace, press B on that. And now the directory is full of all the cheats that are available. So for the PlayStation, we go to Sony PlayStation. And now we just scroll all the way down until we find Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the game that we're playing to load it in. And there is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. As you can see, some games have two. So Hardcore 4x4 has a Game Buster and a Game Shark. So it's up to you to just test which one has the cheats that you want. For example, as well, HBO Boxing also has a Game Buster and a Game Shark. They were two different devices that were out at the time. But the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets only has a game shark edition so we're going to want to press b on that and that is going to load in the cheats and the two cheats that i have available we have the infinite health cheat and 15 beans every pick up so every time i pick up a bean i'm going to get 15 instead so i'm going to put that on and put that on using the d-pad make sure it's on and then pick apply changes and that's going to apply the cheat changes to the game it's the American version of Harry Potter, so it has an American flag. I remember I imported the American version of these games. I was like, why have they got the American flag there? Why not English? Okay, so let's start the game really quick. And I'll show you the infinite health chief that is working. Hello, Harry. Look at those Welcome fantastic graphics. It's not my eye. Thanks, Harry. Come on, Harry. Looks beautiful. We got our wand. Let's go find Dad! Where's the beans? There we go. One bean equals 30 there. 30 beans! Let's get another one. There we go. Massive amounts of beans there. And infinite health. That cheat is working fantastically. So let's take a look at another game. This time we're going to play GoldenEye 007. Okay. Press the hotkey and Y get into the options go all the way down to cheats low cheat replace let's find nintendo 64 nintendo nintendo 64 007 double no it's not a 007 game it comes under g golden eye 007 and there it is golden eye 007 we're gonna try this one golden eye cheats golden eye you maybe let's see what this one is and there we go it says enable all built-in cheat menu Ooh. How do we get the 
enable all levels and inbuilt cheat menu. So I'm going to put that on. All levels. Always have zero time. I'm going to have that one on. Infinite ammo. Yeah, I'll have that. Bulletproof. Yep. Weak enemies. Yep. Just, just if you just want to walk through it. Enable all levels. Yeah, we'll go through that. Walk through objects. We're not going to put that on because that can be absolutely game breaking. Um, all objectives complete. Gain access to Aztec. Infinite health. Things like that. Just whack a few on. All 64 characters in multiplayer. Yeah, you're going to want that. If you're going to be playing multiplayer with a couple of friends, bit of golden eye. Click apply changes. As always, applying the cheat changes now. Then press the hotkey and Y. Let's see if our cheats have loaded in. Beautiful. So we've got unlimited ammo. Let's see if we've got unlimited health as well. Come on, mate. He's done. I've been shot. Nothing is happening. Unlimited health. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. So there it is. There it is. The cheat menu on RetroPie. These Game Shark and Game Buster ones, they work on pretty much every emulator that is an LR emulator, so the PlayStation emulator, the LR Mupin Plus version, the Nintendo Entertainment System one, anything that has LR and is part of the RetroArch system. That's it for this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make games on emulation. I make games on I make games. I make videos on emulation and all the latest games, guides, things like that. Anything that really tickles my fancy. If that's something that you feel you can vibe with, then please feel free to join the channel. Join the community. Say hello in the comments. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about RetroPie that you want answering or any questions about emulation or games in general. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Seeing you okay. Turn the music off because I have to. No way to turn the music off, is there? Okay. Try and flipend over these cra <laughs> That's it, Harry. Now the other one. <laughs> Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a rat. Oh dear, watch me and... <sighs> Great, which one's the jump button? Okay, your turn, Harry. Don't push forward over the gap. There is no jump button. Revolutionary here. Automatic jumps. <sighs> I just need to pick up a bean so I can show you that the cheat works. Keeps 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 going on that save screen. Right. We need to calm down the ghoul. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Right, Harry. Let's Focus, determination. Keep missing some. I'm doing awfully. I'm trying, Mrs. Wee's lap. We got him, boys! Ah, oh, that's much quieter. 
Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. These games were a lot of fun, weren't they? About with non-magical junk. Big question though, why is Harry Lancer use his uh, wand here at the burrow? I'm sure he wasn't allowed. I can't remember, but I'm sure he wasn't allowed to use it outside of school. I wonder if we can go all the way from Sorcerer oh, Stone. Right. Let's go find Dad. I <laughs> just destroyed that chicken. That did nothing. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Alright. It's weird playing a game without a jump button. How are we off, lads? Beautiful day down in the burrow. Still no beans. Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged. Okay. Nice casting, Harry. Come on, let's go and find 